Hello. How are you, Mister? Uh, Good. You, you, you're going to be my teacher again. Yes, sir. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. I, yes. I like that. I like that that the way you you teach. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Eduardo. Welcome back, everybody. How are you feeling today? Can you hear me? Yeah, now, uh, now I'm using the computer of my daughter again because my one is, is not, you know, I'm still fixing it. Okay. Uh, but but uh, do you hear me? I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. All right. So um, welcome back. Like I wrote in the chat, my name is Francisco Marroquin. I'm going to be working with you for the Thank following you, um, four weeks. Uh, let me explain that uh, your work in the platform uh, has to be your priority because that's where InsaForp evaluates your, your performance, your, how you're doing with the, with the different topics we will discuss. So okay. if you can, if you can try to visit the platform on a daily basis, if you cannot, because you don't have much time, try to leave it at least, um, check the platform on a weekly basis. Don't leave it until the very end because, you know, people feel extra pressure when you're like, oh, I only have three days. I only have two days. I only have one day. Or worst case scenario, like, oh, I only have two days to finish. So people do not function the same when you're having... Um, that pressure that you have on a specific amount of time left. So my advice is, if you can visit the platform every day, do it. If you cannot do it, well, do, go ahead and do it on a weekly basis, but don't accumulate um, work. Work. Any questions or comments? Welcome, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Versave. It's good to see you guys again. We are very happy. Good. To see you. Very good. I see Thank a lot you. of new names in the chat. So that's, we're going to have to introduce ourselves again. Uh, my name is Francisco. I'm going to be 49 in December. I'm an English teacher. This is what I do every day. Uh, I teach uh, with different institutions. I teach different levels. I live in Lourdes. I'm married. I have five children. And that's, that's uh, uh, basically everything you should know about myself. So may I have the first volunteer to introduce yourself, please? And if you have questions, feel free to ask. Um, only one, only one. Yeah. Hello, Hi, everyone. Everybody. Okay, <laughs> yes. Okay, my name is Francis Torres. Uh, this is my first time with you guys. Okay. So I am with a lot of expect expectations to learn. Very with good. Fellow you. Very good. Uh, I am 43 years old. And that's it for now. Okay. Where do you live, Francis? Actually, for working at, uh, right now, I am in San Salvador. Okay. So, are you from San Salvador? No, I am from uh, Metapan, but for work, has to live right now in San Salvador. Okay. So I, I work from Monday to Friday. Okay, good, good. All right, thank you, Francis. Uh, welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, another volunteer, please. Hi there. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Guillermo. Oh, yeah, good, good. So my name is Guillermo Hernandez. Um, I'm 39 years old. Um, as you can see, I'm new in this group. So I really, uh, I'm really happy to be with you guys and I hope you uh, learn a lot of new things. Okay, so, what part of El Salvador are you in? Oh, um, I'm living in Ciudad de Arlot, Santa Teca. Oh, okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Guillermo. 
You're welcome. Hello. Hello. Uh, my name is Valentina. Uh, uh -huh. I'm ten, 21 years old. I'm living in San Miguel. Okay. But I'm studying at the University of El Salvador in San Salvador. Uh, okay. I hope to uh, learn a lot of things in, in this course. Good. Very good. You will, Valentina. Thank you. Um, you know, that is something very important. You know, like... Um, Insafor will evaluate you guys based on the work that you do in the platform. But being part of the class of these live sessions will give you the chance to speak uh, the language uh, instead of just sitting in, in front of the computer, uh, in front of the platform, and don't have any interaction with anybody whatsoever. So, and I understand that people have emergencies, inconvenience, unexpected things happen, but if you can be here on time, you know, you get to practice the language and hopefully you will learn something new every day. So thank you, Valentina. Who's next? Hi, my yes. name is Rosy Bell. Yes. I am 52 years old. Okay. I live in San Salvador. Okay. And I work at text to fill SADCB. In Soyapango? Yes. Okay, good, yes. very good. Thank you, Rosibel. Next. Uh, okay. Hi, uh, this is Karen, Karen Figueroa. Yeah. Uh, so it's a pleasure uh, to be with you tonight with you guys. Uh, so I feel uh, a little nervous because this is my first class uh, in this group. So I'm uh, 32 years old and living in San Salvador. Uh, so I'm I'm working right now in an NGO. I'm in church uh, of uh, mer mer uh, marketing. Okay. And I look for donations and uh, public relations, etc. So it's a pleasure. Good. Thank you, Karen. Welcome. Thank you. Okay. Who's next? Time is money. Uh, good yes, Guillermo. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. I am Guillermo Cortez. I am 33 years old and I work for Aldeas Infantiles SOS. Uh, it's an NGO for children and or and I live in Santa Tecla Libertad. Okay, good. Very good. Thank you, Guillermo. Okay, who is next? Good evening. Hello. Yes, <laughs> okay, Celia. Okay. Celia. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I'm, I'm Celia Sanchez. I'm very happy to be with you guys. Nice to meet you all. And I'm 36 years old. I work as a sales executive on a logistics uh, company. Uh -huh. And I'm very happy to be here. Good. What part of El Salvador are you in, Celia? From San Salvador. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, who Thank is you. next? Hello. Chris. Good night. Good evening. My name is Chris Aldanes. Uh -huh. I am 28 years old and I am from Metapan. And actually, I'm working on my own business and it's called Frozen Bar. So it's uh, very nice to meet everybody. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay. Um, Thank you, Krisha. Uh, just one recommendation. If you're logging from your cell phone, your computer, whatever, it, uh, Insafor needs to identify who the person is. So for tomorrow, when you come to class, try to put your name um, so we can identify who you are. Okay, so someone raised a hand. Let's see, who raised hand? Somebody raised their hand, no? Okay, so. Next one, please. Good evening. Okay. Uh, I'm not. My name is Arnoldo. I am 20 years old. Uh, for the moment, I'm not working, but I'm studying business administration at Technology University. Uh, I am a little bit shy, but I hope I can uh, overcome. Uh, overcome here. Yes. Okay. And, and where do you live, Arnoldo? I am from San Salvador, Mexicano. Okay, very good. Thank you. Don't be shy, Arnoldo. Okay. 
Remember that practice makes perfect. So when you are in a in an English class, it is necessary that you speak, you interact, and everything. So in this class, there is a lot of chance that I give you guys so you guys can interact in pairs, triads, or in groups. Thank you, Arnoldo. Uh, Bersave, please. Okay. Uh, my name is Juana Bersave Sandoval, but I prefer uh, you call me Bersave because it, I love this name. And I live in Santa Tecla. I have a son and I live with my mom and my son. My husband died, but I'm very happy with my mom and my, my son. Um, uh, I work in a big company. Uh, its name is Intradesa. Uh, I have uh, different teams working in quality of sewing, um, of garments. And I am industrial engineer and I, I love my work. Um, I am an easygoing person and I am very happy to, to belong to this group. And I'm, I'm excited because I want to learn English and I love it. And only, only. Okay, this. very good. Thank you, Versabe. Who is next? Erica. Thank you, Erica. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Erica Ramirez. I am 29, 20 years old. 29 years old, sorry. And I am a production manager for a printer. Uh, I live in Mex Mexicanos. Um, I am a little shy. <laughs> okay. but, I, but I try uh, <sighs> speak. Yeah. More well, you're not shy, practice. Erica. Yeah, <laughs> I'm shy. A little. She's <laughs> but, lying. But but I try. She's lying. Speak. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have the chance. I have the chance of meeting Erica in person because you know we coincided <laughs> in a previous group uh, face to face. So oh. you're not shy, Erica. <laughs> yeah, but I con. Uh, but me, I consider considered me shy. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Erica. Okay. okay. Who is next? Nice. Who is next? Time is money. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Ana Bonilla, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Ana, and I am 19 years old. I am studying at university, and I live in Ciudad Arthur. Okay. So you're not working at this moment? No, just studying. Okay, very good. Thank you, Annie. Okay, next one, Carlos de Leon. Okay, thank you, teacher. Uh, good evening to everyone. My name is Carlos de Leon, I'm 40 years old. Uh, I work in a company called Covenant. Uh, this is a company focused on... Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is a company focused on offer solutions in cybersecurity. I live in San Salvador, Colonia Flor Blanc. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, who is next? Uh, hello? Yes, Robert. Yeah, hello. Uh, good evening. Mm -hmm. uh, nice to meet you guys. Uh, my name is Robert McQuaid. Uh, I am a psychologist. Uh, I am a psychologist teacher at the uh, Universidad Tecnológica. Okay. And uh, I live in Cojutepec, and I am very pleased to be here to be with you. Okay, very good. Thank you. McQuaid, what is, where is that name from? It's not Salvadoran. Uh, no, it's from my uh, father. Uh, he was from Scotland. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. I was about to ask for that as well. <laughs> yeah, okay. Very common last name here. Right, right. Yeah, you see the name Robert McQuaid, and anybody will say, "Oh, he sounds American," you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah uh, I am. I am here because uh, uh, I am at the university, and they 
uh, are in a program that are get, uh, we all, all teachers there we are going to get certificated in English so that's why I am here <laughs> Okay. And, and and but we are in different and uh, different uh, levels. So I was put here. So nice to meet you all. Okay. W what university do you work for, Robert? Uh, I work uh, for uh, two. I work for uh, Universidad Jose Matia Delgado and Universidad Tecnológica. All right. Good. Good. In the psychology school. Okay. Psychology school. Okay. Good. Thank you, Robert. Okay. Okay, Julio Cuevas. Hello. My last name is from Mexico. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I I 35 years old and I work at Tigo, El Salvador, and I this is my second level online course. Okay. And I try to improve improve uh, the communication with my partner in other country. All right, good, thank you. Uh, Erica Ramirez. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's that's. Oh, it's the same. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Grace Mesa. Grace. Hello. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, my name is Adriana Grace Mesa. I'm from Serapango. I live with my uh, my husband and my little baby. Okay. Uh, I studied medicine at uh, Usam. Uh, actually, I know I'm not studying and I'm not working, but I, in this first, I really want to improve my English and I want to to get a better job. All right, good. Thank you, Grace. <laughs> Maciel Panameño. Good night, everybody. Good evening. My name yes. is Maciel Panameño. I'm 24 years old. Uh, I graduated from business administration the last year uh, at UCA, and I work in OPP Film El Salvador like assistant of uh, general management. Okay, good. Thank you, Maciel. Okay, and uh, Alex Diaz. Hi, uh, Hello. good evening. Good Hello. evening. Good evening, my name is Alex. Uh, I have 41 years old. I live in Lourdes too, okay. uh, but I'm from uh, Ilo Vasco. Uh, and uh, I work in a plastic factory. Okay, good. Thank you, mm -hmm. Alex. Okay. okay, who are we missing? Karen Figueroa, she spoke already. Diego Bertin. Diego, Diego. Or Jessica Canjura. Hi. Hello, Diego. Hello. My name is Diego. I am from Metapan. I am 26 years old. Uh, I am not working right now, but I am waiting what is, what is going to happen. So. Okay, very good. Thank you. Jessica Canjura, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hi, good, good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you perfectly. Hi, thank you. Uh, I'm 25 years old. I'm a student from international marketing at the Universidad del Salvador. And, and hopefully I will be getting graduated next year. And I'm really excited to be here. Kind of nervous as well. But I'm really looking forward to improve my English. So it's nice to meet you. Okay, thank you. Nice to meet you too. So who is missing Herbert Cortez? Hello, teacher. Hello, Herbert. I'm gonna turn on the camera just a little. Okay. 
Hi. How are you? <laughs> it's a pleasure <laughs> to see you again. All right. And for for every, for everybody, um, good evening. My name is Herbert. And this is my second course with the teacher. And uh, this is already the fourth uh, with, with Inglés Corporativo. I'm very happy uh, with with all, all, all the, the way I'm learning. Um, I work at Tigo El Salvador and I'm 35 years old. All right, good. And that's it. Thank you, Thank Herbert. You. Thank you. Who's missing? Antonia Peraza. Can you hear me, Antonia? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Okay. <laughs> so okay, tell my, us about yourself. Okay. My name is Antonia Peraza, but I don't really like my first name, which is Antonia. I prefer my second name, which is Beatriz. Okay, but, Beatriz. But you can call me Beat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I live in Wasapa City. I don't know if you know how that city. Sure. Um, it's really beautiful here. And um, well, as everyone, I want to improve my English. Okay. I want to practice as much as possible. Okay. And, also, I'm not working right now, but I am studying graphic design at UNICEF. Okay, good. Thank you, Beatrice. Thank you. Cesar del Cid. Cesar? Yes, uh, can you hear me? Yes, perfectly. Hey, nice to meet you guys. You have been a pleasure to be here. Uh, while talking about a little bit myself, I would say that I'm 22 years old. I'm studying at uh, Francisco Avide University, and I'm a seer, uh, in training uh, of uh, MedLife Dental at Sykes. Uh, my expectation is about this good world. Well, I need to improve my English a lot because sometimes I get lost with the customer. Uh, that is, well, this customer used to be American people, right? So I need to learn a lot of uh, vocabulary in order to understand all the information that they need to provide me, right? So okay. It was about me. All right, good. Eduardo. You, you right now as me. Okay, I'm Eduardo. I'm 41 years old. Uh, I work for a company to that I sell fuel to the industry, to the industry companies. I'm married, I have two children, uh, one boy and a girl. I live here in Salvador. All right, good. Thank you, Eduardo. Uh, am I missing anybody? No. Eh? No? Okay. Did everybody introduce uh, um, themselves? I guess so. All right. So, like I was telling you, um, always give priority to the to the work in the platform. Whenever you have the chance, please connect so you guys get to practice um, your English. So let's go to our first activity. Uh, okay, so let me share this with you. Uh -huh. And we have a conversation. It's loading, give me a second. <laughs> See this here. Hmm. Conversation. It's loading, 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 loading. My goodness. Okay, can you see the conversation? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, what is the name of the conversation? Yes, 
I was really, really immature. I was really immature. I was really immature. immature. Okay, yeah. how do you explain the word immature? How can you explain that word? So let's say your, your son or your little brother, they ask you, uh, what's the meaning of the word immature? How would you uh, explain that word? Um, I would say that it's someone that isn't acting like an adult. I mean, okay, all right. Someone that is not responsible at all. Okay, good. Someone that is not acting like an adult. All right. So we or, have or, two or, people. Or, or, yeah. Or maybe some, some, someone that is, that don't know anything yet of, of life. Okay. It's too little to. Right. Right. Okay. Also, so, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Also, is someone that uh, don't take responsibility in, in his life. Right. Right. Now, remember that immature, you know, sometimes it has to do with age. You know, like, oh, he's so young, she's so young, so she might be immature. But I have met adults that, you know, like they don't act as mature as they should. So anyways, what can you tell me about the picture you see in the, in the conversation? What there can, is, yeah, go ahead. A, a, a man that look like all in a young man, in a young, I think it's a woman, I think so. Okay, good. Okay, so we uh, have, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. A woman who likes the rock music and oh. a man who likes um, work. Okay, good. Anybody else? The girl yeah. looks like uh, she likes rock and uh, uh -huh. a French style, maybe. Okay. And the All boy right. uh, looks so nerd. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I think. Uh huh. Go ahead. I think they, they both are remembering when they were uh, younger. Exactly. Telling uh, each other. I don't how know how I haven't uh, read the conversation, but I think they are remembering that. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah. The name of the conversation says, I was really immature. So that is. You know, really that's history, happy. that's past. Okay, someone else wants to say something? Uh, for me, is that like uh, the, they uh, are uh, telling each other that when they were younger, they were uh, opposite okay. uh, to each other. And that the, uh, the man uh, tells her that uh, he was... Uh, like, like an air for me. Okay. And then, and then, like she was into the punk wave okay. music or and style and and oh. and, and, and fashion at uh, at the time with when, when she was a uh, younger for me. Okay. Very good. Very good. Someone else wants to give your opinion. No. Okay. So we have two people in the conversation. We have Alan. And we have Carol. I need two volunteers to read this conversation. Alan? 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 One, I, I, I can be Carol. Okay, so you are, you are, you're Carol, Eduardo? Uh, or Alan? I, I, I can be Alan. Okay. Okay, Alan, and then uh, Eduardo, you're Carol. One, two, three. Go ahead. Uh, so, what uh, were you like when you were younger? I was a kid. I was kind of ir ir irresponsible. Responsible. You, really? What made you? Ch what made you, you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, until I graduate, I never had any important responsibility. But then I went off to college. I know uh, what do you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. What made you change? What I, th 
Ajá. I think I became more mature after I got my first job and I moved away from home. Once I have a job, I became totally independent. Where do you work? I work for my dad at the bank. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. Any questions about meaning or pronunciation of, of vocabulary? No, that's for me. No, we're good. Responsible. Okay. So let me, I know that everybody wanted to read and but we only had the chance for two people, but I will assign you to work in pairs so everybody gets the chance to read. So 22, create room, add a room, and here we go. So take chances, uh, uh, take chances of uh, reading. So if I work with Guillermo Cortez, for example, I'm going to be Alan, he's going to be Carol. When we finish reading the first time, then we switch. I'm going to be Carol and he will be Alan. So the idea is to practice your pronunciation. And after you finish doing the reading, tell each other how you were when you were younger. I know that some of you are still very young, but you know, just go back in time and see how you were. Here we go. And if it's your first time working with this person, introduce yourself as well. Can you hear me, Grace? Yes, I don't know how to uh, work in pair. Okay, yes, uh, you're supposed to be in room seven with Bersabe. Um, can, can you access to room seven? Uh, yes, but I don't know how. Okay, there's supposed to be like something like an icon where where you can click and access to room seven. Okay. Or if you're having issues, maybe you can leave the session and come right back. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Please. Hello, Guillermo. Uh, hi, sir. We're in a kind of trouble because I'm in the room with Antonia, but we cannot see the conversation screen for some reason. I cannot. Oh, okay. I don't know how to go back. Okay. Uh, let me see it. Give me a second. Uh, are you in the WhatsApp chat? Yeah. Okay. I entered in the WhatsApp chat. Okay. And yes, I'm already in the group. Okay. So, uh, I sent the image to the WhatsApp chat, but let me, let me. Oh, really? Yeah. But I can I share it. I share it with you again, so you can take a screenshot. Can you see it now? No, no, actually it's okay. I, I can see it in the WhatsApp chat. Oh, okay. All right, good. It's kind of blurry, but I think that we can do it. Okay, good. Yeah. Did you hear that, Antonia? Yes. Oh, great. Cool. Thank you, sir. Okay, good. No problem. So I think. Credit. I I have never had any important responsibilities, but then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature, 
when I was a teenager. So what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job and moved away from home. Um, 84. 84, yes, I'm from October. In also, you just became, you just become 86. Yes, oh, yes, in no. fact, yes. No, I will be, I will be 37 in January next year. Okay, January. And do you have children? Uh, yes, one from my uh, first and only marriage. I am oh, okay. divorced. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> oh, you're divorced? Yes. Okay. And how old is your baby? Uh, he uh, he is uh, nine years old. Oh, okay. Good. So you will be 37 in January? Yes. Okay. And Celia, you turned 36 in, in October this month? Yes, in October. W when in October? When? October 4th. Oh, okay. So you are Libra? Yes, I'm Libra. Okay, good, good. Nice. You guys are still young. Oh, yeah, sure. Kind of. <laughs> 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 uh, teacher, yes. uh, teacher we, we both don't see the, the, the dialogue in our screens. Okay, uh, do you, are you part of the WhatsApp chat? Yes. Okay, because I sent the image to the joint using there. Okay. Ah, okay. I get it. I get it. Let me see. Oh, yeah, I see it. It's a picture. Yes, it's a picture. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And also, Guille have a resend it. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. You, you can see it. Right. Uh, and it's a better and, image, the one Guillermo sent. Uh-huh. Okay, good. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I don't have my cell phone right now. Okay, can you take a, 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 a screenshot from, from what I'm showing you right now? I don't see your, your screen, teacher. Oh, okay, give me a second. Okay, can you see it now? Almost, yes, I see it already. Okay. Robert? Yes? Can we start? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Which one do you want to be? Uh, you should be Alan. Alex. Hello. Hello, Alex. How are you? Fine. And you? Good. Who is your partner, Alex? Uh, who is your partner? Oh, uh, Ana Bonilla is supposed to be yes. with you, but she's not connected. So let but 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 uh, Anna and me is 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 over. Okay. So so um. Did she disconnect? Mm -hmm. Do you know? Okay, I'm sending you to room two.
<laughs> you really? What made you change? Graduating from high school. What do you mean? Well, I graduated. I never had any important responsibilities, but then I went off to college. I know what you mean. I was really immature when I was a teenager. 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 Yes. Teenager. Teenager. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so what made you change? I think I became more mature after I got my first job job and moved moved away from home. Hello. 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 Did you finish with the conversation? Yes. Okay. Any, yes. Any questions about that topic? Well, we are not sure, uh, teacher, if we have a good pronunciation about mature. Uh, mature. 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 Okay. Okay. Mature. okay. Yes. I think uh, that was the only word that we we were. You were uh, asking yourself, yeah, mature, yes. immature. Okay. Right. Right. So yeah, it's it's a it's pretty uh, easy to read and and understand what the uh, conversation has. Yes. So you're in Metapan, Krisha. Yes. Yes. Um, I was born here, but I um, was working in San Salvador. But in May of this year, I returned to Metapan. Okay. To, to start to um, dedicate to my own business. Good. What kind of business do you have again? We uh, it is called Frozen Bar. We sell uh, frozen okay. smoothies. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. So we 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 do it here in Metapan. Is it a family business? Yes, it is. Good. Good. Yeah, I went to Metapan. Maybe like twelve years ago. You have to come. Uh, you will see so many changes. Right. I, I remember when I went. You know, um, it, it's a nice, clean city. You know, and 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 I hear that you know, like they have changed uh, several things. Yes. For example, the park. Uh huh. Uh, it it is uh, very different than twenty In, years okay. ago. Okay. All yeah. right. Okay. We we have a very clean city. Right. And that is something that people uh, that Admire. comes here uh, always say. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And, and you can tell. You know, I, I'm from San Salvador. I live in Lourdes right now. But San Salvador and Lourdes, it's it's not the cleanest uh, places in El no. Salvador. So when no. you visit places like Metapan or other uh, towns in El Salvador, you easily see the difference when it comes exactly. to being clean and everything. Uh, well, I was working in Lourdes for four years and a half. Okay, what part of Lourdes? Holsi. I was uh, I was working in uh, Intercomplex Grupo Miguel. Okay. Yeah, I don't the, know if you have heard yeah, about the, it. Yeah, it's is it in a it's in front of Unicentro, isn't it? No, no, no. Uh, it is uh, in front of I uh, Picacho. Picacho, Picacho. Oh, that is before. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. It yeah. is before. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good. So, wh where were you staying? Where you were working in Lourdes? I was staying in San Salvador. Okay. Uh, in the four years I was staying, uh, two years in Santa Elena, and then um, in Colonia Escalón. Uh huh. And, and then, like, only six months uh, in the volcano. Oh, in the San Salvador. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, the, the the weather is 
nice. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Very, very, very good weather. Okay, good, good to know. What about you, Maciel? Um, well, I born in Santa Tecla, but after the earthquake of 2001, I moved to Lourdes. Okay. So I live with my mother and grandmother. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I graduated from uh, from college the last year, and I start to work uh, also the last year. I I start like a human resources resources uh, intern, uh -huh. but now I but now I uh, assistant of general management in the same company. Okay, good, good. Maciel, I, I had a student uh, some years ago that with the same name, Maciel. Really? Yeah, it, but it's, it's not a common name. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so right now you're in Lourdes. Yeah. What part of Lourdes are you in? Uh, after, uh, well, I live in Valle Lourdes. Okay, Nuevo. yes, in front of Nuevo. Yeah. Okay, I live in Nuevo Lourdes. Ah, uh, very near. Yeah, across the street. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> across the street. Okay, good, good. So you live with your mother and your grandmother? Yeah. All right, good, good. Nice. Okay, so nice talking to you guys. Thank you, teacher. All right. I told me uh when i finished my uh my um high school he told me you will study industrial engineer and i wanted to study psychology <laughs> but oh. he <laughs> he chose for me <laughs> okay <laughs> did he make the right decision Bersabe? um mm, Yes, yes, because <laughs> I work with a, uh, a lot of people and I try to give uh, advices and I think I practice the psychology. All right, good, good, nice. Okay, you, all right, welcome back. Um, so how has everybody changed here? If you compare yourself now and how you were 10 years ago, maybe. Like I said, some of you guys are still very young. So you're like, well, I was like 11 years old. I was 12 years old. So, but how have okay. you changed? Okay, can, can, uh, can, can I speak? Sure, go ahead. Okay, what made you change is the responsibilities and, and, and the hunger. Right, right. Is, is, is it right to say hunger? Yeah, like hunger, yeah. Yeah, because if he, if you don't become responsibility, you don't eat. Uh, yeah, you don't eat easily. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I, I have a question, teacher. Yes, Carlos. Uh, I'm sorry. The, there is a term, a specific term, a word to say materias primas. Yes. Does anybody know how to say materias primas? Okay, yes, do you? Do. Raw material. Raw material. Raw material. Raw right. material. Exactly. It's okay. the same word that you use when you want to say crudo. You say raw. Yeah. So you say raw material. Okay. Uh, what is, I think it was commodities. Commodities. I, I was confused. Mm, well, you should, I know um, materia prima as raw material. Raw materials. Right. And okay. that would be like the most common expression people would use. Okay, okay, yeah. thank you. Okay, good. Uh, right. Can I can I uh, say something? Please, Francis. Too? Yes, yes. Okay, I think commodities. It, it means for uh, some special materials like petroleum uh, and some other uh, material that could be uh, some particular. But raw material it means anything that can be changed to a final product. Right. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, can I say something please? Of course, please, Celia. Uh, I work for, uh, for the logistics area and I'm a sales executive. So uh, the word commodity, uh, we use it uh, uh, a lot. And it's, uh, and it's used 
to refer to any merchandise, any object. Um, usually you classificate the, the objects in some um, types like appliances, like a home, uh, ho uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Household, household goods, uh -huh. and um, I, do, I don't know if I explain well, but merchandise is like, like merchandise. Okay. In general. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good, good. Anybody else wants to say something? There's another definition for commodity. Okay. <clears throat> it's also um, a product. Uh, where, where you cannot make difference between a brand from another. For example, um, rice or beans. I, 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 I mean, you can have the product and just for the bag, you know, it's a, it's a different brand. When you have the product out, you cannot make, uh, you cannot see any difference. Okay. Wow. That's interesting. Yeah, and it's true, you know, like sometimes you see the presentation and you identify because of the colors, the design and everything. But if you open it, like you say, which is which? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, good. Anybody else wants to say something? No. So how were you different um, five years ago? Yes. How were you different? How were you different? Were you more responsible? Were you carefree? Were you reliable? Hi. Hello, Grace. Uh, well, uh, for me, 10 years ago, I was like Carol because I was very irresponsible. Okay. Yeah. And I was like uh, someone that doesn't care nothing, but right now I that now right now I I am 24 years old, so I know that I have to be a better person and right. a positive person. So right now, I, I I like my my actually. Uh, your person. lifestyle, your yeah. personality. Okay, yeah, good. Right good, very good. Yeah, I think that being young, you know, it's it's like I went through being a young person too. And, you know, I did so many things that I'm like, my goodness, what was I thinking when I did that? So, <laughs> you know, but people change, hopefully. But, yeah, good. Anybody else wants to say how you were before and how you are now? Uh, Me too. Yes, Valentina. Uh, uh, I'm I'm 21 years old. So when I was uh, when I was 15, uh, five years ago, uh, I don't have any responsibility because I I live with my with my parents. So uh, in 90 90. No, uh, in uh -huh. in ninety ninety seventeen, I have to move to San Salvador from for 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 study at the university. Okay. So uh, it's so hard to uh, live away uh, from our parents because you don't have a uh, the 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 love of our parents right. and. The money uh, some sometimes is is not enough, so I have to take care of my my money. Right, right. And I I learn to to live uh, right. just with my my bro with my siblings. Okay, good. Yeah, just like the famous expression says, you don't know what you have until you lose it. You know. And, and we take things for granted many times. Oh, they're there. My dad is there. My mom is there. But once you don't have them with you, that's where change comes. Okay. Anybody else wants to share your experience? Teacher. Yes, Christian. Uh, 
I agree with Valentina because I had uh, the same experience because I had to leave my city and go to uh, San Salvador um, because I had to study the university. So I think uh, that uh, to be mature, it doesn't depend on the age uh, because it depends on the situation that you have in life. Uh, because for example, in my, in my case, uh, I have 17 years old when I uh, left my home. So it was very hard because you have to uh, stay in a new city alone and you have to uh, cook your, your food or buy your food and uh, you have many responsibilities uh, and you are alone. So I think that that changed uh, my life and I, I have the same experience that that she. Yeah, and especially if, if you were only 17 years old, that's still very, very young. Yes. Right, so, okay. Anybody else wants to say something before you guys are dismissed? Uh, I would like to add. Yes, that, sir. That's additionally to the responsibility, it is uh, also the goals. When do you want? When do you want to get uh, or meet some goals? Uh, you also you set what you have to do to change right. in your life. Right. So I think that is very important. Yes, planning your life will bring you great benefits. So it's not only about doing things spontaneously and carelessly, but everything in in life needs planning. You know. And those are some of the things I didn't know when I was younger. And that's when, you know, but anyways, um, anybody else? No? Well, thank you very much for your time. Um, nice group. I expect to see everybody again tomorrow at the same place, same time, nine o'clock. You have a good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Good night. 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 All right. Good night. <laughs>